Hello everyone, Shady Beach here and welcome to Detroit Become Human. This is my new obsession. I am absolutely obsessed with this game. It is ridiculous. <laughs> I genuinely unironically love this game. I know that there's a lot of people out there who hate on it for eh, what feels to be flimsy reasons. Like they just hate on these and David Cage games in general and just there's a lot of hate towards that and eh, I don't I don't get that but uh, I really like this game this is like fr from what I've seen I've actually uh, played through it a couple of times already uh, just wanted to do a playthrough of it on my channel uh, before I play through it for the next 30,000 times so yeah what I've seen of it has honestly been the most like expansive and immersive like choice based game I've ever played seriously it's crazy um, so I'm gonna go ahead and you look tired today thank you Chloe uh, you're doing okay I, I'm fine what, what does that mean I look tired today I I woke up at a decent hour <laughs> I so so what my sleep schedules <laughs> you don't have to be rude Chloe yeah, Chloe is still here, uh, and I, I know I said I, I played this before, and if you know anything about this game, like you've seen it before, you probably know that Chloe leaves after uh, you finish the game the first time. Uh, yeah, she did. She left for a while, but then Cyberlife gave me a new one, so that's why she's here. All right, so uh, let's start a new story. Let's go ahead. Uh, yes, I will replace my previous checkpoints. It's a brand new story. <laughs> Honestly, I pretty much just making this series as an excuse to dick around in the game a bit, because uh, I've made a lot of serious choices already. So now I'm just gonna find out what happens if I'm just screw up everything. <laughs> you hear the coin flipping? It's me. It's the android sent by Cyberlife. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Yes, I know. I, everyone, if you... Like, that's like the biggest quote from this game, because he just says it all the goddamn time. It's great. Yes, straighten your tie, Connor, the android sent by Cyberlife. Alright. Now, Connor is a prototype detective android. Um, but the thing about prototypes, so it's new technology, and the thing about new technology is please, please it hardly ever go. works. Yes, ma'am. I am an android. I am the android sent by Cyberlife. Why aren't you sending a real person? Uh, it's mostly because we want to test this new technology, which uh, uh, I'll give you guys a little hint. It's not going to work at all. It's going to be really bad because that is realistic, <laughs> honestly. Hello? Hello? Don't use words like that. Say words like motherfucker instead. <laughs> Alright, come on. Captain Allen. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. He said it! Yeah! I love it. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. Wow. Two of your men have got shots? Falls, it's good. You really need to protect against the flu. Who is she? Uh. Have you tried its deactivation codes? The first thing we tried. Wait, um, do you know what, been yeah, how has it been acting? Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So what I kid? This There's a child? Out. What? Well, I'll take care of it. Well, why don't, why don't you just take care of it? Alright, so, time to figure out what happened. Hmm. Something was in this box! Unfortunately, there is no way of us knowing what it was because it's empty, as you can see. There is no possible way of knowing what was in this box. All right, fine, I'll look at it. Hmm. Hmm. There is another little box. Hmm. Damn tutorials trying to tell me what happened. 
I'm not supposed to be a very good detective. I've got a 51% prob probability chance of success. Hello. I am the android sent by Cyberlife. Huh. Wait a minute. This man is dead. Okay. Hi, how are you? Wait, I'm going to analyze this. Look at this. What is this? Mmm. Tasty. It's like... Uh, <laughs> blue raspberry soda or something like that. I don't know. Is there a blue raspberry soda? I've had ices that are blue raspberry, but is that like a soda flavor? I feel like it should be. Hello. Oh, dear. I'm bleeding blue raspberry. Don't come any closer or I'll jump. No, no, please. I'm begging you. Who is that? Oh, good. Snipers are here. You guys can take care of this. My name is Connor. I'm the android what sent by you? Cyberlife. What is your name? Daniel. Because that's the name they gave me. Damn, Stay Daniel. Back. That's that's a, quite a hostage situation you've created. Okay. God, who put this table here? Goddamn helicopters. Have, making me walk around... Yeah, She's put down the child. She has nothing to do with this. In no way. You see Hey, that man is degree. dead. But I'm not that stupid. No. I'm not that stupid. Mm, I don't know. You you seem to be Look what you did. <laughs> you were designed to serve humans, not kill them. What was I designed to be? Their slave? I don't know, maybe. Toy? Probably. I just wanted them to care about me. Well, that's what I you get for having die. expectations. I just wanted to be someone. Okay. Um. You're defective, Daniel. God, There's Daniel. There's a problem with your software. We're going to fix you, and everything will be okay. I don't need to be fixed. I'm working perfectly. But my are you designed are to hold now. children hostage? I will never let anyone humiliate <laughs> I'm working me again. perfectly. Yeah, this seems fine. Ever. This seems to be working, functioning as it should. There's no way out, Daniel. Look at this. What you've done is too serious. The only question is There's literally snipers and police fight. everywhere. It's not up to you. I'm holding all the cards. If I die, she dies. Hey. You that is me? a long fall. Hmm. I can't stand that noise anymore! <laughs> Tell that helicopter to get out of here! No! Like, I need someone to I shoot you if I, <laughs> if, if I can't su uh, successfully kill you myself. Hmm. You're about to... Like, you're about to... You know... I'm your last chance, <laughs> kill a child. If you let it slip, they'll kill you! Yeah, they will. Let genuinely. the hostage go. You have no other choice. God, my probability of success is so bad right now. I want everyone to leave. And I want a car. That's a. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna happen. That's out of the question. <laughs> You're a machine. You have to obey. Now put the gun down and let the You're hostage not taking go. A... You're not taking the I hostage out of the city. I've taking orders. Now it's my turn to decide. What are you doing? What? Don't, don't you, don't, not while you're holding a child. God. What, why would you do that? Like, you're gonna kill a child as well? There we go, that's better. I can fall to my death, it's fine. Connor's just not gonna be in the story anymore. <laughs> hmm. Well. I chalk this up to another successful day at the office. Fun. <laughs> I think that's a good way to start this series. Look, the child's fine. It's not dead, not fallen to its death. Yeah, mission successful, like it said. I, I'm gonna be great at this video game.
and then we go over the city, and it goes to D I don't know, Detroit, become human. Because of, or, no, we're going to look at my uh, choices first. Connor leapt for Emma and fell. Yeah, I've, I've done this. Yeah, so there's this mission specifically I've done three times. Connor died protecting Emma. Connor shot Deviant. Yeah, Connor leapt in for Emma and fell. Nice. So I've died twice doing this. That's pretty good. All right. Let's continue on a little bit. Let's just get to... There's like three characters in this. And I'm going to do the introductions for all three of them. So that was uh, Connor. I'm resetting my memory. Yep. System initialization. Memory systems. All system is okay. Cool. This my memory's is the been reset. What does this child want? It cooks 10, Come on, Zoe. Let's go. Okay, go away, Zoe. And handles the I don't want you here, Zoe. God, that ugly jacket. Get out of here. Honey, it looks Find some better jackets, exactly Zoe. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Uh, my name, well, I, I don't know my name. I'm kind of just standing here. Oh, hey, how's it going? What you doing? Hey, you got customizations for your, for, yeah, you can pick out a cool outfit. Have some nice shirts. An excellent choice. Nice. And, uh, yeah, get yours today. It's just people. That's just people's faces. This is basically just slavery, isn't it? Shit. Um, okay. Available now. Model KW500. Pre-owned. Uh, pre-owned and... I don't know about getting a pre-owned Android. Like, who knows what the previous owner did with that? Let's be honest. Stupid accident. A stupid accident? Well, it's a stupid accident. Was it your birth? Meaning we had to wipe its memory. Burn. Hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Okay. All right. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. Ooh, I have a name. AX400, register your name. Okay, what is my name? Kara. Woo! My name is Kara. Cool. All right. So that's that character. Then we have the Quantic Dream dramatic intro. Look, there's the city of Detroit. There's a sign. There's wheels. There's plants that have smoke rising out of them uh trees apparently lots of trees birds names of people red get red red three th yeah um there's drones all the dr most of the drones in this game are triangular for some reason don't fully understand that like they they even have an actual drone later on in the game that looks like a normal drone but then Half the drones are these weird triangle shapes, and yeah, it's just just a bit odd in my opinion. Ooh, taxis, walk, don't walk, people walking around. Hmm. There's a building with rain on it. Oh, is it? Is this gonna tie into their other series, Heavy Rain? I don't know, I, I didn't actually play that game. Well, I've started it. I, I now have it, and I've started playing it. I have not completed the game. Heavy rain. Um, homeless people! I lost my job because of androids. Maybe you're just bad at your job? Have you considered that? You're also really old, you know? Like, what was your job? It's probably hard for you to do since you're so old. I... I probably sound ages now. Written and directed by David Cage, who a lot of people hate for some reason. Like, I get that he's probably not, like, the greatest guy, but, like, there's a lot of hate against him for some reason, as if people can't understand that he is a human being, and most human beings have flaws, and, you know. <laughs> Izzy, there's that stupid child again! I said get a better jacket! Would you like to go home now? Damn yes. child. Yes, I think that's enough for one day. Go to Bellini paint shop. Let me help. What if I just sit on this bench? Hey man! How's it going? What's up? Children! Why do they exist? What is their purpose? Why do so many people have them? 
Water. 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 Delicious water. Cool. Don't just throw things. That's rude. <laughs> so rude, right? That guy was so rude. I'm gonna cross the street now. Ah, I've gotta wait for the green light. Stupid lights. Hurry up already. Gotta stand here waiting. Can I go yet? I wanna go. Look, there's red flower up there. Drink red flower. I don't know what red flower is. Wait, this is only like 20 years in the future, so how is this new company, uh, of this new soda company randomly ap appeared? Or is it like the new Coke product? Hmm. Ooh, hot dogs. I want a hot dog. Hey, can I get a hot dog? Ooh, pretzel. I'm going to take one of those pretzels. Those look tasty. Have a nice day. Give me a hot dog. Hey, give me a hot dog or a pretzel or something. One of those. Come hey, on. Come it. on, man. You're scaring away my customer. I am a customer. Give me a hot dog. Give me a hot dog. What are you... Read my lips. I want a hot dog. Damn, you plastic fuck. I said move it. Why are you so mean? You know what? I'm going to sue you. This is discrimination. It's not okay. All I wanted was a hot dog. Hi. Ooh, music. Yeah, I'm not gonna like, listen to that for long. <laughs> Just gonna walk away because I don't want to get like a copyright strike or something for that music. I don't know. Hi. How's it going? My brethren, we have to turn our backs on sin. Ooh, you're d we doing the preacher thing. The Wait, what? Let us burn them all. What? Why do you look I thought, at me so, demon? I thought you were saying something about I sin. Know. What? What? Why are you attacking me I now? See through you. What? You are the one by whom the evil will come. You are the one who will destroy Detroit. I am. What? Why am I a Poor demon? Sinners. The end is nigh. That guy was mean. He was mean to me. <laughs> that was just so rude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sue everyone here because they're mean to me. Like, not only will they not serve me hot dogs, but they call me demons. This is just clearly racism, right? Identification verified. Thank you. Hmm. Here is your order number 847. That Perfect. Some tasty, tasty paint. Please confirm payment. Okay, confer, c c confirm. Confirm payment. There we go. Payment confirmed. Payment confirmed. Perfect. Transaction complete. All right. Let's take the. T take. Take the box. Okay. Perfect. All right. Bye. Thank you, strange man. Hope, have a nice day at the paint shop. All right, time to go. Let's change the camera angle and look this way. Hi, you've got a package as well. Is it also tasty, tasty paint? Well, you did not come out of the paint store, so I suppose it must not be. Hmm. All right, what else is there? Ooh, I can just, I can park. No? Okay, fine. I won't park. Is that chanting? Hey, there's an angry mob. Workers rights. <laughs> Where the fuck you going, Tin Can? What? No I'm not made of tin. Check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. It's a, it's not tin. It's only like two percent tin. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. What? Why are you so mean to me? What did I do? I'm just holding paints for dinner. 
I'm just trying to feed my android children. Uh, I'm not stealing your jobs. Maybe you guys are just... Wow. Have you considered that you all got fired because you're a bunch of a-holes? enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. What 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 do I need to be taught? That existing is my fault, and I should be punished for it. You can take your job next. Let's see how you like it. Okay. Let's go. I don't want. All right. Thank you. Thanks, officer. Yeah. Whoever said a, a police did anything wrong? All right. Let's get on the bus. Oh. I was right here! What a jerk. That bus left without me. Alright, there's another bus. Probably took like 20 more minutes. Or more than that, likely. <laughs> like another hour or something. Uh, transportation systems. Yeah. The android department. That's discriminatory. Also, I like that there's no subtlety here at all, where all the androids are on the back of the bus. In their own special compartment. Perfect. Symbolism, right? Something about that. I, I'm pointing things out, but seriously, I, I like, I'm pointing out problems, but I seriously do love this game, just as it is. It's great. It's a wonderful game. It's perfect. Marcus took the bus. Yep, that is what happened. Indeed. All right, so I think I'm actually going to leave this here after uh, yeah, Shades of Color. Uh, so that's just introducing all the characters. There's three characters. There is Connor, there is Kara, and there is Marcus. And they all exist and are androids. So that's pretty much all you need to know about them right now. Uh, yeah, I'm going to continue this series for a little while, I think. I'm going to play through the whole game uh, because I love it. And I just, I, I just, it's, it's hard to describe, guys. It just, <laughs> I love this game so much. <laughs> Seriously. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. I will be back next time. I hope to see you guys then. Bye.